Yo, it's super windy out here. Hey, what's up YouTube? Marcus here. So you're probably coming to IUD and you want to know what you're staying in, right? Well, I can tell you we're all staying in these little things right here. Uh, this is the CC side dorms and I'm about to show you what I live in. All right, so welcome to my 64 square foot room, which is a fact, by the way, eight by eight. First thing we have is the bunk bed right here. Obviously, this room was meant for two people, but I'm fortunate enough to have this room by myself, like most of the people in my squadron. So blessed for that, super blessed for that. The first three weeks I was here, I had a roommate and it was not fun. So these rooms can either come in the bunk bed like this, or you'll have two separate beds, one over here and one over here. I prefer the bunk bed just because it gives me more space to put my stuff. So uh, try to get a room with a bunk bed if you are coming to these dorms. So they also have two cabinets. I have mine, one over here and one over here. Yeah, so I pretty much keep all my clothes in here. Um, pretty organized, you know, got my camera stuff, some snacks couple books and cards and then in my other cabinet I keep all of my cleaning supplies yeah so I suggest bringing like gold bond or something like that especially if you're coming in the summer because you will be sweating every single day so bring some baby powder or anything like that these baby wipes are my number one friend behind my wife don't get it twisted so yeah get some of them cotton nail cleans to wipe them booty you'll be good so then the last thing that all the rooms come with is a refrigerator or a mini fridge. And this is what I have in mind right now. I have a shit ton of water because it's free. Uh, you can literally go outside and grab as many cases as you want and just put it in your mini fridge. That's cool. I got a couple snacks and it's not beer, it's like fruit drinks. So yeah, pretty legit. You also get a trash can, so that's good. Just buy some trash bags. If you don't have any uh, linens or blankets or anything like that, you're gonna go to lodging and they'll give you some. They'll give you this brown blanket and a super uncomfortable pillow. So bring your own pillow like I did. That tempered pedic baby, you can do it right. Ha. So some of the things that are in my room, not everyone will have. So like this chair, for example, was just in here. This desk was in here. Someone gave me this TV. So try to get a room where there's things already in there. I brought my PlayStation 4. Whenever I want to play some games or watch some Netflix. Uh, the bad part is about these dorms is you'll have internet called MoralNet. Super shitty. Doesn't work. So you're going to end up buying internet called Baptel. It's still shitty though. So the good thing is that I heard that these dorms are supposed to be in destroyed. They just built the chicken coops, which is in between the CC and the BPC side. I uh, already know a couple people that are living in there. So you might be lucky and move into the chicken coops instead of in here. But the bad thing about the chicken coops is it's in the middle of nowhere. You have to walk hella far just to get to either defect or to go to the pool or go to the gym. It's kind of annoying. If I get a chance, if I move over there, I'll make a video or I can ask one of my friends that's living over there and see if I can uh, film over there. And also the BPC dorms, which I heard are hella nice. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. You can obviously see the whole room just by me standing here. So if you have any questions, just ask me in the comments below. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time, guys. Deuces.